Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of this coffin bowie or bowie knife. I bought this from Blade HQ. They were selling it on Amazon. It was $15. It comes without handle scales. It is made in Pakistan. The steel was listed as stainless steel. Yes, look at that grind. Fairly attractive. The handle on this is relatively short. It will fit large size hands or smaller only. I thought this was a, a good bargain actually. It's pretty nice for $15. Do you want to see how it throws? There you go. All right, so this is all uncut footage. It's uh, just a real throwing session. So if I miss, I miss. If I hit, I hit. All right, practicing consistency. So there will be no edits. So how are you all doing these days? I hope you're doing well. It's getting cold, getting cold where I live. Right, I live in the uh, the northeast, right? The northeast uh, FEMA sector. And uh, yeah, I got the fleece. And this was filmed last week, so it's actually even colder. Uh, we do have some snow on the ground right now. So uh, in future videos, you know, you might see some snow. Yeah, but this thing goes thunk rel very nicely. Um, the reason this is called the coffin uh, bowie or buoy is because of the handle shape. Right, I guess most people will put uh, handle scales on this, but when I see something with no scales, it's a thrower. You know, to me, it's a thrower because um, if I put some nice scales on it, you know, and then you... Uh, you hit another knife or it bounces or it hits, uh, you know, the handle hits the target, you would ruin the scales. So I just have a, a paracord wrap on this sucker, but it's very pointed. Let me tell you, that's a satisfying thunk and sometimes can be a little difficult to pull it out. It's like Excalibur. All right, so uh, as I said, I hope you're all being a uh, happy and healthy in these tough times, but uh, I am continuing to try to survive and uh, thrive in this uh, this age, this age of madness, this age of fear, this age of YouTube. No, just kidding. But uh, oh yeah, this they listed the steel on this as stainless steel. And I tried to find out more about it. I did find some similar looking knives that were 440A, right? 440A. Now that doesn't mean that this knife is, but uh, that's my best guess right now. I certainly wouldn't be surprised if it were. No real problem with that steel for a budget knife. Although you should, should know this knife did not come very sharp at all. Now that's fine for me using it as a throwing knife. But if you do plan to use this as a camp knife and you're going to put some nice scales on it, I would definitely recommend doing a little work on that edge. Now, this would be a nice project knife. A lot of my subscribers do have the capability to put some very nice scales. You know, a lot of them are woodworkers and so forth. And this would look sweet with that the, uh, the coffin shaped handle and it does have a very attractive uh, grind on it. You know, kind of just a, a solid hunk of steel, as I said, made in Pakistan. I have no problem with that uh, for this price range, of course. This was definitely a, a fun and good throwing session that day. Not only did I throw this, but I also uh, I had a Condor dismissal. I had another uh, cold steel knife so there was a lot and with this thing I just couldn't miss I actually had to cut some of the footage at the end because I I'm trying not to make the videos too long right I'm trying to make them watchable for you guys but um, after this clip there was there was yet more more successful sticks but uh, I've heard from a lot of people that are actually getting into throwing as a hobby, and that's great to hear. You know, you get some fresh air, some recreation. But yeah, I mean, this thing was fun. This was a lot of fun. 
Okay, we've got the last throw coming up. Hope you've been enjoying this. And there you go. So final thoughts. This thing is awesome for $15. I've had a lot of fun with it. It's a great project knife. And if you can put handle scales on it, I'm sure they would be beautiful, make a great gift. In the uh, text description box below the video, I'll include the link to this for as long as it lasts, but also many other useful links to tomahawks, throwing knives, and other types of knives and items that will be of great interest to you. So check those out. This has been We All Juggle Knives. Consider subscribing. I am out.